Hey Crushers, it's Young. I'm bringing you a new Crush Them All video. Today's video is going to feature the first steps guide using the Lucas strategy. What I'd like to accomplish is um, just clarification on what heroes to use when you first start off, as well as why. If you guys have any questions or comments after watching this video, please post them in the comment section below, or you can find me on the main Crush Them All Discord group. Now, as you'll see, um, in this video, I'm already past the VIP 4 milestone, so I have the ever convenient upgrade all button available. Ooh, a times 2, that is awesome. Especially since I don't even have the full wheel there. Um, now, uh, as I was saying, I've got the upgrade all button, so if you guys don't have it, that's fine. Um, you'll get it. And just be patient with that. Um, also, before you ask, star levels do not affect anything for staging, even a one star hero is better than a six star if it is correct for speed, which is what this guide is about. Um, now, as you see, I've got 1.17 billion prisms, which is more than enough to get Luca up to uh, level 100, prism level, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and set him to 100. Then we focus on getting our gold level up, so we build up our village gold. If uh, you don't already know about those mechanics, I did make an entire video on the village gold mechanics. Um, so if you need clarification on that, please review the previous video which explains all that and I've linked in the uh, description below. So now that Luca has 100 prism levels, um, as I said, we can focus on raising his gold level. Starting off, we only need him to be about uh, 500 to 600. Um, generally speaking, when you're first starting, the goal will be to gain in the neighborhood of 600 gold levels. Um, which I've gained roughly 600 gold levels, and I have Luca to Prism level 100, I should be able to make it all the way to stage 700. And this is the first time we will need to use a hero other than Luca, because now we'll need an Earth hero to proceed. I highly recommend using the voodoo dagger. That is this guy right here, voodoo dagger. So we're going to click join, and then we're going to pop on over here, and we're going to give him 200 prism levels. This should now get us to stage 800, where, once again, we'll need a different element healer, hero. Um, this time, you'll need a fire hero. Scud is an excellent option, and Jasmine is a good option. Personally, I use the Monkey King, um, which was an event-specific hero, which is currently retired, but don't worry if you missed out on it, though, because you'll have an opportunity in the future to get it. So we're going to join him, we're going to check his info, we're going to go ahead and increase him to Prism level 300, and you see the pattern we have going here, 100, 200, 300. This should make it to where I can clear stage 900. You see where I'm going with this yet? Next we'll be needing a light hero, and light knight is a great option to use. So we're going to bring in light knight, we're going to check info, we're going to raise him up to prism level 400. Then we're going to need a dark hero. Um, I'm going to bring in Kasumi, which is I mean, hands down, the best dark hero for staging in the game. Check info. I'm gonna raise Kasumi to Prism level 500. Now we have 100, 200, 300, 400, and 500. So, with this set right here, and having them at gold level roughly 500 or 600, um, we should be able to clear stage 1100 or really close to it. Um, and depending on what artifacts you have, you know, closer to 500 gold levels are needed than 600. Um, but the pattern here is just rinse repeat. So what we'll do moving forward from here is we're going to go back to Luca. We're going to increase him to 600 prism levels. Then we'll increase Voodoo Dagger to 700 and so on. And we just continue that pattern all the way through. So we get our fire hero to 800. We'll get our light knight 
to 900, Kasumi to 1000, and so on. So, if you don't have one of the recommended heroes yet, that's okay. Um, go through your heroes and find the one with the fastest speed. You can figure that out pretty easily by selecting a hero card. And, uh, and click check info right there. And then just flip the card over and look at the back of it. That's that button right there in the bottom right hand corner of the card. And as you can see here, movement speed for Luca has a speed of 220, which is insanely fast. Um, this is a good way to set up if you aren't really sure what to do. You can always hop on the Discord for the game. It's linked in the uh, in the settings of the main menu up here. You just click settings, and right there it says, do you have suggestions, questions, join Discord, and chat with the devs, which is completely true. The developers are very active on there, so if you guys have any questions, hop on. Um, that's all I've got for today, Crushers. I do appreciate you watching today's video. I hope it helps you and, you know, your understanding of prison levels. Thanks.